All right, so in the last video, I installed the third function valve on my Kubota, and now I'm gonna um, put together these grapple forks so we can plug them in and see how they work. Uh, first things first, I gotta bust this pallet down, get everything out, and um, I don't think there's a whole lot to getting these, these things ready, so. So that is it. The third function valve works really well. Um, grapple forks seem to work really well. I'm not overly impressed with the fit and finish, but um, kind of minor stuff. The welds don't look as nice as what I would have expected. Um, there's some splatter around they really should have probably cleaned up. And um, This pin that goes through and holds the top link of your cylinder on, when you put it in the in the in the other position there, all the way at the top, um, let's see if I can get a better view. When they welded this, these almost kind of go out at the top. It must have warped a little bit on them, and that pin, just because it's that much wider at the top there, almost doesn't come out the other side. It does, but it's just kind of close, closer than what you would want it. They should have either made that pin a little bit longer or done a little bit better job welding that up but honestly I don't ever see myself using it in that position very often I'd rather have it in the in the position I have it now so where you can open it up a little wider um, obviously you're a little limited uh, on taller pallets if you got something stacked on a pallet real high this setup isn't going to work real good but um, I'm already kind of thinking uh ways around that. I'm going to see if I can um, I'm going to see if I can somehow build something to where I can flip these back out of the way when I'm not using them and I think that's just probably a Saturday in the garage and some welding. Um, maybe put a pin that's a little bit easier to get out up here and then uh, you can flop that cylinder back and flip the grapple right out of the way. Then you can use the pallet forks just like um, for whatever. But overall, I think they'll work pretty good. Uh, I'm going to spread the forks out. I'm going to grease the rails here so they slide a little better. I'm going to go through and grease all the bushings and pins. And um, then we'll go out and give them a test on uh, some real stuff.
awesome. to do is clean up some of these trees that I cut down for shooting lanes out of my tower stand there so couple chunks off this for firewood.
smaller stuff I'm gonna have to get with the bucket, just kind of push it into a pile or something. little stuff is too small for the forks to grab it kind of falls through so I made a little pile there all these on this corner are dead all these locusts I'm gonna cut these down for firewood and um, I'll make a pile of all the little stuff I don't want to cut up and now I'll just burn it right here so that's the first grapple video uh, hope you guys liked it the grapple works pretty good on smaller stuff it doesn't work that great if you had a root grapple or something where you could actually dig everything up and it was more like a clamshell I think it would work a lot better for that small stuff but if you got a big pile of branches or something you can pull right into it you can pick it up like nothing you can move it anywhere you need it to um, if you got smaller piles you kind of need to you know move it make a bigger pile and then pick it all up and move it where you want to wherever you want to go with it um, the forks, I need to make a video on actually using the forks. I really didn't use the forks for like pallets or anything like that. So I'll do another video on that and see how they work. Um, I think I talked about at the beginning how it doesn't open up quite as high as I want it, would like it to. Um, so that you could pull straight into a pallet that's, you know, maybe four or five feet off the ground uh, full of stuff. So, um, I'm going to see if I can do something about that. I think I can figure something out where I can actually get that um, top grapple to open up a little bit further and it'd be a little bit more useful as forks. You pull in a little bit closer. So um, I'll do that. I'm going to use it for the sawmill. I'm going to use it for a lot of firewood. So I'll be sure to make videos on all that kind of stuff so you guys can see how it works um, kind of all around. But at least you get a good uh, idea how it works so far and um, overall I'm really happy with it you know like I said fit and finish wasn't the best but I think it's gonna hold up good and if something if a weld or something does break down the road I mean it's just a, it's a chunk of steel so it can always be fixed and um, it's a good starting point so uh, I guess stay tuned for the next one and uh, hope you enjoyed